We know many of you have so many questions about COVID-19. Where to get the fastest test results? What if your child is exposed to someone but is showing no signs? Should you still get them uh, tested? There is a hotline that you can call to get the answers to those questions. It's offered through nurses at Baptist Health. Dr. Patricia Calhoun is a family practice doctor with Baptist. She is entirely too busy to be answering these calls, but she certainly has the answers to many of the most frequently asked questions called into the hotline. Good morning, doctor. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. So um, I, I want to kind of run down this list because I know that if there, these are questions that are being asked of the hotline, then we know that a lot of our viewers probably have them as well. As well. So at the top of the list of most commonly asked is, uh, as an example, my employer wants me to get tested because someone in our department tested positive for COVID and, and, and they need the quickest test, right? Because everybody wants to get back to work. Where can someone go to get the fastest test? How do you answer that question? So that is changing all the time, the answer to that question. What we recommend is that you call our hotline number, which is 302-5050. Weekly, the testing sites change. Um, the city of Jacksonville has a wonderful link to the current webs, the current locations where you can be tested. And some of the test results are rapid. Some may take two or three hours, um, but there's limited capacity for testing. Um, some of the testing results that are sent off to labs may take three, four, five days. So as a medical community, we ask that you be patient. We know there are limitations in testing and testing availability, um, but always keep up to date. Um, call the hotline and we can certainly direct you to where you can get the most appropriate test for you. There seems to also be some confusion based on the questions that you're receiving about a, a COVID-19 test and an antibody test. So another question is, is how accurate is the antibody test? Would you first, though, before you answer that, explain to our viewers again what the difference is between the two? Absolutely. A COVID-19 test is generally a nasopharyngeal swab, which is a nasal swab. Um, some sites are using oral pharyngeal swabs. The nasal swab is definitely more accurate, and that is testing for actual COVID-19 infection. After a person is exposed to COVID-19 and develops an antibody, this is the uncertainty that we have. There is an antibody test that is available, but it's currently under emergency use authorization. We don't know long-term wise if this is going to confer immunity, meaning if you're positive and you've been exposed, that that's going to last. So there are many uncertainties about the antibody test. We're putting all of that together as the medical community continues to study the COVID-19 infection. So it's interesting because um, many Many people are asking also a question if I, I, I went and I was tested for COVID-19 uh, or, or rather I was around someone who tested positive for COVID-19 and I just found out should I go immediately to have myself tested to see if I have it or do I need to wait because sometimes if I've been exposed it takes a while for me to show symptoms and then my test result might come back negative one day and positive another what do you that tell is, them that is absolutely correct so what I would advise someone if they have been exposed is to self-monitor for your symptoms. If you have had an absolute exposure and you're completely asymptomatic, you should technically quarantine yourself for 14 days. The, the question becomes if there's an exposure to an exposure to an exposure and it's somewhere down the road that you really have not had an exact exposure, we need to still be self-monitoring for fever, cough, shortness of breath, regardless. But if you've had an exact exposure and you're asymptomatic, we recommend contacting your primary care physician, calling our hotline, and we can continue to guide you if you have had a positive exposure, but you're asymptomatic. So uh, here's another question that I think is really pertinent for, for our parents who are watching. As an example, my child was playing basketball outside with some children down the street this weekend. One of the kids that they were playing with, their mother tested positive for COVID on Monday. How should I handle my child at this time when my child has no symptoms? Again, that's an exposure of someone who tested positive. So there's, there's limited uh, capacity to know whether or not there was a direct exposure. And again, I would simply in that case recommend monitor your child if your child develops symptoms fever, cough, shortness of breath, certainly contact your child's family physician or pediatrician and look for further guidance. What is so wonderful is to be able to call the hotline and get these questions answered. Dr. Calhoun, thank you for your time this morning. I know you're incredibly busy. Do appreciate it. We want to share again with our viewers the phone number that they can call. So Baptist mans that hotline Monday through Friday starting at 6 o'clock in the morning until 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Nurses are answering the calls. If they can't for some reason answer your question, they will call you back with the answer. It is free for all ages. You do not 
not need to be a patient of Baptist or in the Baptist Health System, you know, network. Uh, and um, also, if you do need to get tested, there are a number of options around this River City that we want to remind you about. Yesterday, there was the new COVID-19 testing site that opened at, at Austin Regional Park in East Arlington, and also the city's longest running and largest testing site, Lot J of TIA Bank, at TIA Bank Field. It's going to close at the end of tomorrow, but it reopens Thursday at Regency Square Mall. Both of those are free. You don't need to have any symptoms. And this, if you go to our website, is a list of all the testing locations. I want to give you the phone number one more time in case you missed it, by the way, for the uh, Baptist Health Nursing COVID Community, uh, community COVID-19 um, hotline. That's 302-5050.